Hello everyone, this is Ding and welcome to V-Ray SketchUp series. In this video, we're going to take a look at the camera settings of the V-Ray Asset Editor. VOA offers an extremely photographic approach in rendering our SketchUp models and scene. The settings in the camera rollout of our VOA editor works just like a physical camera. The camera rollout has two main control options. They are the type and stereo. We have three types of camera. Standard VR Spherical Panorama VR Cube Map The three camera types have two main control options The exposure value and the white balance But the standard type have two additional control options the depth of field and effects I would assume that we usually do our SketchUp rendering using the default standard camera type in the standard camera section we can choose to control our scene exposure by using this simplified exposure value or switching to the advanced settings switching to the advanced settings will give us additional adjustment parameters and they are the film sensitivity or the IOS the aperture or the F number and the shutter speed the IOS determines the brightness of the image the higher the IOS value the brighter the image the F number determines the lens speed the shutter speed determines the exposure time for the virtual camera now let's do some test render I have my film sensitivity parameter or the IOS set at 0.05 the aperture or the F number at 0.315 and the shutter speed at 1000 obviously it's a very bright image the exposure is just not right let's do some adjustment let's try lowering our IOS value from 0 0.05 to 0 0.01 and render again now I think this is a much better result let's accept this one and go back to our camera settings now these parameters and their values if we just switch back to the basic settings is collectively known as the exposure value and the simplified exposure value of 19.92 represent these values in the advanced settings let's go to another camera settings the depth of field let's enable it Pick a focal point and render. Now where is our depth of field? When I first started using this setting, I was also expecting the same thing. I was looking for my depth of field. I was hoping that this entourage would be blurred and out of focus. But that's not possible because these entourage are on the same field with the main model. 
Let's try a different scene. This time letting our virtual camera come nearer to our model and make this gate light as our focal point. Now let's render. And now you have the depth of field effect. Let's go to the next camera settings. We have two types of effects vignetting and vertical tilt vignetting looks like this it's more of a photographic effect it's the reduction of brightness in the periphery of a captured image now let's try this to our scene let's put a value of 1.5 Now I think this is a good one. Let's go to the vertical tilt. In this scene, the vertical line seems to be converging upwards, making our model a little bit distorted. Let's go ahead and render anyway. So how do we correct this kind of distortion? Assigning a positive value will make our vertical lines diverge upwards and negative values will make our vertical lines converge upwards. In this image, we need our vertical lines to diverge upwards. Let's try a value of 0.14. So I think this one is much better than this one. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. For those of you who have already subscribed to this channel, thanks a lot. Thanks for the support. And for those of you who are just new to this channel, subscribe now. Click that notification bell. I will upload more videos just like this. And I will see you soon. Have a good day.